Hi everyone, welcome to Writing Powerful Stories. I'm Emily Wong. Today, Madeline Shaw Wong and I would like to show you four methods to increase the energy of your stories. Which has more energy? A long passage where your character is sitting on a chair contemplating something? Or your character doing something? Remember, energy is action. At the end of this video, I'll share a simple hint that will take your fiction writing to a new level. Method one, choose high energy words. Writers use language like a painter uses brushes and paint. Play around to see which words are best. Many people, when they're first starting out, want to sound writerly by using big words. They tend to use too many adverbs and adjectives. They use too many adjectives, the describing words in a row. One is good, two might be okay, three is too many. Every extra adjective decreases energy in a story. Instead, use crisp nouns, simple adjectives, and strong, clear verbs. We want to produce a picture, like a movie in the reader's mind. Let's cut the flab on this sentence. The enormously large, towering, gigantic elephant quickly chased our jeep. Try this. First, cut the adverbs enormously and quickly. Second, trim the adjectives to one instead of three. And third, replace the verb, chased, with a more powerful verb. Then you will have a sentence with more energy. The gigantic elephant thundered after our jeep. Words that describe thinking decrease energy, so limit your use of words like wondered, reflected, worried, thought, remembered. Words that describe action are high energy, dashed, climbed, hovered. Here's an example of a sentence with low energy. I remembered how scared I was when the elephant chased our jeep. It was very big and frightening. Instead, write this memory as a flashback, so that the past event seems as if it's happening in the present. My heart was pounding as the gigantic elephant thundered after our jeep. My hands clamped on the bars on the roll cage while the animal bellowed after us. Method two, focus on the character. Zero in on the character's personal experience. Bring your reader there and let them have the experiences at the same time as your character. Be specific in your details. Focus in on what the character is sensing. Describe what they see, hear, etc. Describe the smell of the dust in the air as the jeep tears down the road. Describe the elephant's wide spread ears, its trunk raised like a threat, its sharp tusks. The sound of trumpets pounding of its feet, the roaring of the jeep's engine, the screams of the passengers, the feel of the jeep as it bumps down the road. Method three, vary your pace. Long sentences slow the pace, Short sentences increase the pace. If you always write in long, complex sentences, your readers will become bored and stop reading. On the other hand, if you always write at breakneck speed, your reader will become fatigued. Because of the way the human brain is wired, we become accustomed to a fast pace, and even that becomes uninteresting. How do you keep them reading? Vary the pace. One of the best compliments you can receive as a writer is I couldn't put your book down. Method four, conflict. It's simple. No one wants to read a story about happy people who always get along with each other. Fiction is about trouble. Put your characters in conflict with each other, with themselves, with the government, with nature. Challenge them to see what they're made out of. And now, the final hint that will increase the energy of your stories and take your writing to a new level. It's so simple you'll be shaking your head. No, there's gotta be more to it than that. Come on, what do you take me for? You trying to play me? You trying to play me? In my house? Here it is. Come into my house on this, the day of my daughter's wedding, thinking you can blame me. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. I've been around this block a few times. I think I know. I think I know what I'm doing when I'm writing. So here it is. Eliminate most of the adverbs, those words ending in L-Y from your stories. Because here's the thing, adverbs decrease energy. Try to use power verbs. Here's what I mean. Compare these sentences. He ran quickly, low energy, versus he sprinted, high energy. She was extremely tall, low energy. She towered over her friends, high energy. They sang beautifully together, versus they harmonized. Watch our next video for four more great hints to increase energy in your stories. Hit smash! that like button share and follow and come back for more hints on how to write powerful stories check out madeline shaw wong's website madelinewong.com and follow her author page on facebook at facebook.com fiction lady bye